channel it is your girl Sashel. thank you guys for being here i appreciate you guys if you are new to the channel go ahead hit that subscribe button join the family we have an awesome family here no guys we're just gonna get straight into the video i did my corrective relaxer and if you had been following my journey you guys know that i was due a corrective relaxer because the last relaxer that i got my hair didn't take to the relaxer let's just just say that now just to give you a little backstory I have been new to this no lie journey. I have um I've always used lie relaxers for as long as I can remember. And but it's not like I was dedicated to a particular relaxer. I just normally just grab and go. And then my mom and I we basically used to just always pick up the tub relaxers. So it was always mostly lie relaxers, like the cream of nature and the um L'Oreal, I think L'Oreal or optimum yeah so we normally just use that so i decided that for 2021 i'm gonna go in i'm gonna try no lie journey just for comparisons and just so i can bring to you guys how my hair flourishes um on both sides so i can you know have insights so it has been my sec it was my second second or third relaxer the last time that i got a relaxer and it's like the two times that I did the no lie relaxer. It's like my hair just did not. It it left a lot more texture. But I was of the opinion that okay, yes, I know that no lies tend to do that. So I wasn't really, you know, too troubled by it. Plus I love a little texture in my hair because my hair is on the finer, thinner side. But then it turned out that I actually um, did the, the last relaxer that I did um, about two months ago. And my hair just didn't take at all. It it looked as if it did. But then by a week, when I w rinsed out the relaxer and I blow dried and everything, I realized my hair was like really thick. And by a week into um, post relaxer, my hair basically reverted to where it is when I stretched for like three months. So I know it didn't take well. So, so guys, I personally recommend you going to a specialist to do this. Look at here. You can kind of see that you have the hair. And then you have to about right here. And that looks, but it's like all the way to here. You still have under process parts. If you can look at that, you can see. Look, you see right here. It's still very textured. I decided I was going to do a corrective relaxer. Now, when I decided to do a corrective relaxer, I know for a fact that I wasn't going to do it like the week following, which I see somebody do or some days following because I just don't want to overlap on my relaxers. And I wanted to have enough new growth to go in um, before I rel um, did another chemical process on my hair because my hair is not really resistant to breakage. A little slip up can revert it back to the mess and... We ain't here for that boo boo. So I know for a fact that I wanted to do it six to eight weeks. And normally I stretch my hair for three months. So if I go a month before that, I don't think it would have been a bad thing. So I went ahead and I tra I, I did my perm yesterday, um, the 29th um, of April. That would make me like a week less than because I permed the last time on March 10th. So I'm like a week or so. Yeah, a little bit over a week, shy of two months. So I think it was perfect timing. So guys, this is what I did. So when I'm going to do my relaxer, I normally ensure that I get my hair coated fully with petroleum jelly so that the the um so that the relaxer does not go on to already relaxed ends. No, that has been the norm for me, but um 
in this time i decided for this particular relaxer i'm not going to coat my hair so much that the the relaxer can't get through because what had happened is that my entire like like three quarters from here back is like almost all of it had some texture and i mean when i examined the amount of hair that was under process i could realize that it was at least two inches down from root uh, down to the shaft of the hair so it was a lot and it was all over so it's not like it's one specific side and all of that so i was like oh my god how am i gonna do this so when i coated my, my ends i only coated the very very tip like about right right here normally i go down the shaft um that was risky business very risky business because you know you don't want to overlap and that can cause additional problems somebody was calling me Anyways, and this time I had my mom help because I really had to go through the C, the search method to examine what the the issue was. So I had her look at my hair and determine how far down she was going to do it and all of that. I also asked her to go ahead and do the previously the previous parts that were on the process before she goes to the new growth. So she did that so you could see her applying the relaxer to the shaft first before she went on to the new growth because the new growth is closer to the scalp and I kind of wanted the, the perm to sit in my hair a little bit longer and I did not want my scalp to start burning. So ahead and she applied most of my issue was around to the back the front was fairly okay for the most part um so she went through and and unlike other times when i normally just washed it out immediately when she went through she also went in and she go ahead and she combed through the hair so it's like almost three quarters of my hair was um round to the back had a perm and then she took the time to smooth it out um just to release that texture and that the curls a little bit more so when i went ahead this time i used the olive oil that was another choice that i made going into a corrective relaxer because one one of my subbies who is also a youtuber um she is the relaxed afro you can check her out she had mentioned to me is it because i'm using the kids cream could that be the reason why my hair is not taking to it so i thought about it and then i was like okay why not try um the olive oil one I always wanted to try it anyways. So I did that. Um, even though in my heart I didn't believe that it was a kid's cream issue. But I went ahead with the olive oil. So it comes in a packaging. You guys know what the packaging is. I don't have to go into that details. Um, it had all the necessaries for the relaxer process. And um, I went in and I did the cream. I went through and all of that not only in that i this time around i ensured that i had a protein treat on the day of relaxer this is not something that i normally do when i get a relaxer i don't apply any other chemical proteins or anything like that on my hair but this time i know that it was a critical situation so i went in and i did the olaplex treatment number three <laughs> I've always wanted to use it because of the rave. Any protein treatment I have ever used, like in terms of heavy protein, would have been um the Afoji. Um, so I did that. So I had two product changes during this stretch. Um, so how did I feel now after I actually did the corrective relaxer? What had happened? Um, so I didn't wait long. I didn't time myself, but I know I kind of after she combed it through, I kind of waited and I kind of 
you know, mess mess around, so I wasn't washing it out immediately. So I think I had the hair, the perm in my hair for enough time to feel as if it must have taken to the perm. When I rinse it out and everything, as usual, these days, um, I, I still see a little bit of curls and coil. If it was not absolutely straight, which I'm not going for anymore. I don't go for bone straight anymore, so I was fine with that. Um, I did the blow dry. This is my hair in the blow dry state. I did not apply any direct heat, no flat iron to my hair. I just blow dried it and wrap it. Um, how did I feel? Guys, I think for the most part, I had corrected the issue but guys you see right here i don't know if this part of my hair is because it's so thick but if you can look here you can still see that right here from about right here to right here there is this patch of hair right in the thicker portion of my hair that refuses to take to the relaxer and even though this part of the hair is what was permed first this is where she applied the relaxer first at the back the top part the 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 first portion middle portion there that is where the, uh, the relaxer is applied first it still chooses not to take properly to the relaxer so even though it is a bit lighter it still is very spongy feeling i can still feel the texture right there and and so it goes back to what i'm saying is that it's either of two things it's almost like no like can't properly perm that that portion of my hair and it's weird, but I feel like no lie is just fighting this portion of my hair. My hair does not, is resistant to no lie in that section. Um, every, everything else still feel good. It feel textured as it would, but it still feel very light. It feels how I want it to feel, but like right here to the back middle portion, it is just not having it. And I'm just going to just accept what it is so i'm accepting what it is um i'm not going for bone straight so it doesn't bother me that much so let us go into what i did during this relax during this stretch in this very delicate stretch leading up to a corrective relaxer what did i do and all of that 